So I promised you a picture of the area that we had prepared and here it is. We have trodden it. What we do is we put the soil down. We then walk it with our heels and heel it well down. If not, you get the heights wrong. And then we do our final rake. You can see it has stepping stones across to the raised lawn on the other side, which needs a little bit of extra work on it. It's going to be top dressed a bit later on. And you can see that the soil now is nice and level. And in just a little while, we'll be starting to roll out the turf. We always put an edge along each side first and all the cuts then are on the inside and therefore if it dries out which we hope it won't because the customer should actually be watering it through this dry spell that we're in at this moment um, there should be no problem at all but the edges will curl up if allowed to so they are prepared and ready to go as you can see we're now laying turf and you can see that it's in staggered rows if you look when uh, this piece has been laid in. You can see how we butt them. We lift both sides of the joints and push them in together. And that way it works well. We're working off a board so we don't put massive footprints into the ground. And after that's rolled out, you'll see that uh, it's different lengths. We pull the edges in as well towards the board. We lift and check that the edges are all matched in. We just lift them very slightly to check, you can see. Never just roll them out because you'll find you end up with gaps. And then we'll go over it with a board at the end to see that it's all nice and flat. There's an interesting edge there that just needs a bit of pulling in. And uh, you can see how we lift. Just lift it and tuck it in so that there's no gaps. Because if not, you have to go over with topsoil and fill all the gaps, which of course is quite unnecessary. So there you are. There's a... Uh, there's what we're doing with turfing. We're just laying it and when dales come off the turf, you can see that we're working in staggered rows. We lay it like brickwork and we put one round the edge all the way round and we cut it in to the edge. You may be asking what we're doing with the old bulbs. Well, actually they're bulbs that we dug up underneath the turf and we'll, we just leave them underneath the turf and they will reappear next year. So you are. we'll board it off after we've finished and then we'll show you the finished lawn. As you can see, we've now uh, laid the turf and what we do now is we literally, what we call board it. We don't use rollers anymore because rollers will move the soil, soft, any soft soil underneath. So we literally jump up and down on it, which might seem a bit monkey-like, but that's how we do it. And we do the edges first. So we've already done the edges and now we're pushing the middle down. And that's all you have to do so it's as simple it's as simple as that so there are there's uh he's boarded it off and now what's the uh, what's the rest of the job to do i'll tell you what to do now he'll well we'll be quiet we'll keep it a bit quiet and i'll tell you what you got to do now you've got to give it a really good soak because let's face it that is dry the soil we put underneath as you noticed earlier was a little bit moist that's gone down okay but now you've seriously got to get water on it now most new turf what i do with new turf is i would put it on for about an hour on each section use an oscillator or a, one of those ones that goes round but see that you give it a good soak and particularly right back to the edges that is so important so they are that's how you do turfing well i i don't know that's how we do turfing i hope you do it the same way don't forget edges First, fill in the middle, but remember, do it as if you're building a house, like building bricks, so that none of the rows are in the same line. Okay, turfing, all done.